You look like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? <laughs> right. I'm taking you in. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. tomorrow, right? Then let me give you an update. So, about Miwa-chan. Her symptoms started fading pretty soon after administering the new medicine. Yeah, I'm relieved too. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you for supporting me through it all. Same goes for the situation with Oyamada. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here. I want you to have this. You saved Miwa-chan. It's only fair that you get to meet her someday. Let's see. Once Miwa-chan's all better, maybe the both of us could take a trip to visit you. <laughs> Keep your health in check. I want you there to welcome us with a smile, okay? Heading home tomorrow, I hear. It'll be a new start. You've got my blessing. I recall the days when you helped me out with my speeches here. We'll be treading separate paths, but as long as we share a common purpose, I'm sure I'll see you again. If I've earned the support of an upright young man like you, well, that must surely be my greatest achievement. You expect farewells to be so sad, but here we are beaming. From now on, your life is your own to live. Now, I suppose I'd better send you off with a parting gift. It's an incredibly expensive fountain pen I bought back when I'd strayed from the right path. Embarrassingly enough, I hardly used it. I hope you'll put it to better use than I did. Whatever new chapters you write with that pen, I'll be watching for them. So, you have come to say farewell. I have some words of reflection for you in this time of parting. This twisted, broken world sought to crush you, yet you salvaged it, and with your ideals stitched it whole. You were a true trickster of this modern age, a beloved champion of a burdened public. 
and a man of such great heights. Well, where will his path take him next, I wonder? Now, I don't know about that. To accompany a trickster on so twisting and winding a path, I fear I'd soon be outpaced. I have more than mere words to give you today, though. Allow me to grant you a parting gift. Not as the one who leads you, but simply as Lavenza. This is my blessing to you, to carry on your journey. You were confined to your cell for so long. Now at last it seems only right that you bear its key. In the past, guests of the Velvet Room have received their keys upon their very first visits. However, I was unable to pass it on to you at that point. This is the least I can do for you now. With this key in hand, you will be able to break free of whatever trials may imprison you in the future. Though of course, you have already chosen the path of true freedom. By inspiring others to take up arms and fight for their own beliefs, you may change the world itself. You walk the path of a true trickster. May it lead you to fortune beyond imagining. That's crazy. Yeah. I hear you're heading home tomorrow. Perfect. I got a story for you. Karu got accepted to high school. He'll be a Shujin Academy student in the spring. Thanks, man. Karu will be stoked when I tell him. He says he wants to become like you. Well, being a bro means someone will be following in your footsteps. But I can't leave everything to you. I'm the parent here, so I gotta do my job. Oh, yeah, here. It's an EY family gecko. Take good care of it, okay? Having you around the place helped me realize times sure have changed. But I'm not going obsolete just yet. I still got more to learn, just like you. Looks like you got plenty of guys following your lead now. I'm real glad we met. Take care. Venture is progressing toward opening its first location. Actually, I'll be involved with its launch even while attending college. We do have plans to expand into other regions. Perhaps one may pop up in your town. From now on, I'll have to balance my studies and the company. No easy task, I'm sure. But it's all for the sake of making my dream come true. I swear I'll... By the way, I tried making something for you. I'd like to sell handcrafted goods at my cafe as well. So this is the first step in my practice. I want to live up to my grandfather's reputation after all. And my father's legacy. It has to be a comforting, welcoming place for everyone. Some place to spend your peaceful hours. Once it opens, we should all meet up there. Just like our days at Leblon.
Did you come here for souvenirs? This place has everything. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live. But we're all splitting off to do our own thing, huh? Honestly, it's not really hitting me yet. Yeah, totally. It's not like we're all leaving forever. I mean, we still have the group chat. I'll still be messaging you all. And you gotta respond. By the way, um... A little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines. And that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. It felt incredible. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. I said it all in the interview, but... I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope, like you did for me. Thank you for all you've done. The days I spent with you were some of the brightest in my life. Once I'm a star, I'm gonna shine even brighter, though. So you watch out for me! be departing tomorrow it's sad to see this as a season of farewells but I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways <laughs> that's putting it mildly this t do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition desire and hope it was well I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express, I can barely contain my passion. But my heart has not led me astray yet. I'll paint as it guides me. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos, certainly that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them, and I hope you tell me their story someday. Yo, man, spring break's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. Man, do you even know how far that is? Well, I guess it depends on the starting point. Hold on. I'm faster. Maybe I should be the one running. Or we could start at the same time. So we'd, like, crash into each other somewhere in the middle of... Wait, what was the question? Honestly, even with the rehab, I don't know if my leg's ever gonna be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? I don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame. I, I'd rather just run and keep on running. And hey, you better practice too. See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. And when I think about going to school without you guys, 
don't know. I can't imagine it. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you, man. enrollment papers ready soon enough I'll be living on my own too <laughs> new beginnings for both of us I suppose of course maybe not right away but once things slow down I'll definitely make the time my sister and I are actually going to look at my new place soon a year ago all this would have been unthinkable for me Nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. If I'd never met you and stayed a simple honor student, I'd never have realized I had that choice. So, I want you to have this. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. We fought back together, so it seems only fair you keep it. I want you to know that you're an irreplaceable comrade to me. Always have been, always will be. What a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your studies there, okay? Of course. And let me know if there's anything you need. This is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. Now that you're heading out into the world, I've got a present for you. It sounds like the setup to a joke. A student bumps into his teacher in a full French maid outfit. But somehow, that opened up all kinds of new paths in my life. You taught me so much. You're not just my best student. You were a great master. I can make up for all the times I distanced myself from my students. I'll help anyone who needs it. The point is, I'll put in the work. I learned a lot from you, and I won't let that go to waste. Exactly as the card said, you came to visit me. In your current state, you should be fine. <laughs> well, if you're the one saying that, then it must be true. I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately. Even though I should be the one encouraging them. Strange, isn't it? But perhaps that's the truest form of fortune telling there is. Mutually encouraging each other to find happiness in a world full of tangled, painful fates. It's the kind of comfort I've always hoped to provide in my readings. 
Here. This card represents your future. Please, take it as a good luck charm. An upright fortune card represents happiness to come, but it's an omen of doom when reversed. But I know you'll carry on with the same conviction you've always had. You were never one to fear the future. That's how you managed to bring joy to any fate. So? I'm sure we'll meet again. Though, that's not based on any augury. Just a personal wish. ESP. I'm surprised you knew where I was. Are you here to say goodbye? Oh, <laughs> thanks. I wanted to speak with you about something, too. So, I'm close to being able to report on Kaio's case. Ever since all that stuff happened with Shido, the stories haven't stopped rolling in. But it looks like I can finally avenge her. And it's all thanks to your hard work. Here, it's a record of the struggles we shared. By the way, I heard the Phantom Thieves are disbanding? It's gonna be so boring around here. Not every day you get to chase after a bunch of young revolutionaries like them. Hold on though, I bet you got more tricks up your sleeve. You're going home, not turning over a new leaf. I'll be keeping an ear out for your next adventure, okay? I promise, I'll tell your story to the world. You're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. Wait, we're making this a series? I don't know if it'll be that big of a deal. But if I actually get this done, I guess it'd be a waste to stop at one. Makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on, just like you did with that first calling card. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft, but... It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So, we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. at home yeah whatever happens from now on I'm gonna keep winning too 
If I lose, then I'll deal with it. Just like you taught me. Oh, right. I returned the money, and he forgave me. We're friends now, and he's even playing gun about with me. He's still a total newbie, so I'm teaching him all the pro strats. Oh, but don't stress. It's not all boot camp this time. I'm going easier on him. Thanks for everything. You've helped me so much. I'm gonna give you my secret weapon. See? That's my strategy. I use this to practice at home. But these days, I'm kind of too busy helping Mom, or playing with my friends. At first, I thought you were kind of weird, but... Now, uh, you seem pretty cool, so... I'm still your teacher when it comes to games, but you're my teacher in real life. for you. I have a shogi tournament tomorrow, so I can't see you off, but, um, have a safe trip. I'm happy to hear that. I'll visit you as well. If I do well, that will make it ten straight wins. I'll work hard so I can give you a good report. After hearing that you're going home, I prepared myself for this moment every day. Somehow, seeing your face has dispelled all anxiety. If anything, I feel oddly optimistic. It's a strange clarity. Like, I can see all possibilities on Thus, my next move is clear. I'd like to give you this. The lance piece moves exclusively forward. No other direction is possible until it is promoted. Our lives demand the maneuvers of a lance. And so we shall continue onward on our own paths. However, a promoted lance can also move sideways. If so deployed, it can even end up next to another. So now we will part ways, if only briefly. When we have promoted, we'll find each other again. So now we will part ways, if only briefly. When we have promoted, we will find each other again.